just to let people know that we are on live stream. This is the Monday, October 26, 2015, and it's the presentation from the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute on the Maghreb Blueprint Teaching. We can make the announcement now that welcome everyone to the Monday, October 26th presentation of the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute. It's the MagGrav Blueprint Teaching Week, and this is the first installment uh, of the Free Energy in Exchange for World Peace theme. And I believe we're ready to begin now with uh, Mr. Cash at the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute. Are you ready, Mr. Cash? I think so. Good morning, good day uh, to you whenever and wherever you listen to these broadcasts. Uh, today and this week all together is a special time for the Foundation and maybe the change of course for humanity. We promised, we gave the governments 10 days and uh, the 10 days finishes today. As of today, we start distributing the units, which has been purchased by the foundation. But the problem is, as we even have seen with the governmental demonstrations in uh, uh, where the ambassadors took the units, they plugged in the system the wrong way and they just created the spark and they had to wait for it to repair. So. What we see is to achieve a proper use and secondly, distribution of the knowledge the correct way, we need to teach. This is a new technology, it's a new environment of science and not many people know how to use the systems. So if we put the units out the way we are doing now, then we find out that a lot of you make systems or use the systems and you see it doesn't work or you think it doesn't work or you damage the system without you knowing. So what we've done this week, we have put and specialized this week for one thing and that is to teach totally about the new plasma system. 
What is the new plasma system? Why you need to know? If you buy a computer, you spend time learning how to use it, how to program it. If you buy a new dishwasher, you do the same. You learn the manual. This is not a normal power supply system. This is a new plasma technology. It has to be done the way it's designed. It has to be understood to be able to use correctly. You can't just plug it in and say it doesn't work. Believe you me, it will not work the minute you plug it in because you're not looking in the right place. The difference with this technology is that you have to understand the work of plasma. You have to understand how plasma interacts. You have to understand how the interaction of the plasma can lead to, do you want to take that? We are on the backup right now, uh, Rick. So we, we are on the 4G network as backup. You've been asking if these systems are two kilowatt, 10 kilowatt, five kilowatt. These systems are, and in the coming time we show you, meet all sorts of demands. Whatever you demand from it in time, once you learn it, you will see you can achieve it. The present unit, released works maximum at two kilowatt. What this means, you cannot overload it for over two kilowatt. Otherwise, you're gonna damage it very much in line with your adjustment is not right. So what you're gonna get is two kilowatt is your maximum. So when you do two kilowatt, Oh, I'm useless with the pen. You want me to use the pen? I use the pen for you. No problem. Should be better. Okay. So what happens is you connect the system, you expect two kilobytes from it, and then you see it doesn't work. When you plug your system in, when you receive it, you leave it. It's like when you buy a freezer or a fridge, they tell you when you move a fridge or a freezer to a house, you got to leave it 24 hours to climatize before you can plug it in. So with this new system, you plug your system in and depends where you put it. You have to ask an electrician, somebody who understands how to connect the first units to connect it. When you connect it to the plug, you leave your unit and then you add a load of about one kilowatt to it and you leave it. Uh, this would be the Italy internet. Um, this happens. It will be on the internet. We are not sending any manuals through the box which you receive. Your manual is on the internet. You receive an access, you go onto the website, you download, you read what you got to do step by step and it gets uploaded continuously. So you can connect the unit directly to the main at the point of the box, your junction, or you can put it anywhere in the house and from that point where you connected it, your unit, you can take power from it. It's very simple. The system, you plug this into the main or you change this to fit into the main system which comes from the grid and you take your supply from here. Or you connect this end to the back of your meter that where the main supply comes into the house. So the plug fits here <coughs> and your plug fits here. That's to the main, and this side is for your use. <coughs> then, 
over with two weeks, you increase the power to two kilowatt resistive. Non-resistive, you can go to as much as the system can take, two, three, four kilowatt. Two kilowatt is like heaters and anything which you might have. So for LED lights, for um, computers, for the standard non, uh, what do you call it, resistive conditions, brushless coil, like the ones on the computer, fans and the rest. <coughs> After a week or so, you find out more or less your energy you supply is zero, which means whatever you use, you don't pay for. It's not that you're stealing, is that the system has start releasing its energy. As I said, yes. Is it better? So what do you see? You lost the internet. Hello, can you hear me? Thank you, okay. So, <coughs> I do apologize, I have a very bad cold over the weekends and it's gonna be with me all week by the look of it. <coughs> so, what happens is that you use the power both in two ways. You have a DC and you have an AC. Your system on a DC, it's more or less three, four, five kilowatts. We don't have that much use. We have maybe one or two kilowatts in the house, which we use like the fridge and that kind of thing. The resistive loads like the heaters, you have to step up slowly to two kilowatt. And if you use your system, which is overloading, the system has been adjusted with this resistant, or what they call a heat measurement device inside, which means it's short circuit. It cuts it off till the load is taken off. So you cannot overheat the system. The system internally has a heat resistor gauge that does not allow you to go over 55 degrees, that you cannot damage the system. It cuts, you leave it for a while, it comes back on again, and it goes. If you plug the system in and it blows out, you hear a big spark, this is normal. This is a transition from plasma to matter, the state, and the point where these wires are in a matter state, interact with the material inside, which are not in matter state, they're in a plasma state. So if you get that, you just leave it, for a while, 24 hours later, the layers will build themselves up and then you can reconnect it. Am I correct? Armand knows it because they did it in Russia when he was there in Armenia. One of the officials just plugged it in. They had a big bang, not it worked. And the next day, systems start working again. A few hours. It's just, it's the beauty of the system. It's a, what do you call it, solid state matter. More or less, you cannot do anything with it. We know there is a possible in the first batch weakness, which is getting rectified, should not be, is where these, the wires from these units can be overloaded in respect to the uh, nano-coated material. And then it all needs to be replaced. There's no problem with it. But in a second cycle, which is already going through the production, this has been uh, rectified as well. This is what we know. We haven't seen any problem with it, but if it happens, it's just the diameter of the wires are slightly different, and that could give you a spark. But the whole problem is, for you to be able to use these units, we spend whole week educating you. <clears throat> this week is called the blueprint. The standard teaching of the Keshe Foundation on the teaching uh, masters this week is stopped because it's vital and important for two points. 
once you learn to use this, we show you by the end of the week, we have a up to 10 kilowatt resistive, but it needs a special process. It needs a special setting. It cannot be done with one unit. We have tested it, so we are testing further. So you can even, in a further development, push the use to over 20, 30 kilowatt resistive. But it needs time. You need about three weeks minimum. Ah, oh, in this thing, you have to go come back on it. Oh, I get educated with it. You need three weeks. Or I go this way. Ah, you need three weeks to get the system set in the house. Minimum. What does this mean? You add a little, you wait for a week, and then you add another load, you wait another week, and then gradually you take the whole household in. The reason being, as we will explain, is that the house, all your wiring in the house needs to be nano-coated. If you unplug, you'll find out you start again, but instead of taking three weeks, it might take three minutes, three hours to reuse the same system. You'll find out, this is what we see now in the trials around the world be done, it's better to leave the light of the house on all the time because you keep the, rest of the power going. You don't use anything. Your meters from the governmental side gradually will come to a halt depending how much power you put on the system, which means you don't see any more consumption than what you usually do. These are plasma reactors. These are not plasma generators. Generators in the future will be totally different. In the generators which you are working on, you do not have a connection to the government. You are independently supplied and that will take sometimes for us, we're still searching on it, to be able to deliver a simple box that can deliver you independent of the resources of national governments. But what it will bring you, something simple, is that what we have seen with two kilowatt, as I explained, you only pay 40% of the bill after about three weeks. We see now with a new setup, much more reduction after two or three weeks, which means if you leave your heater on whole day or your air condition on whole day, after once it's done, you will not add, should not add any more to your bill because the system gets nano-coated, system gets super conductivity and it works on its own. The reason we connect in this technology to the main, as I've explained in the presentation, we need the enhancement from the phase shift of the 50 Hertz. Once we can complete this without any other units, but plasma units, we will release the new generators on their own. We can now connect the system to a generator of 50 hertz, but of the independent of the, of the grid. But this is not the purpose. Everything which we'll market will be totally plasma technology dependent. So we are not going outside to look, to compensate, or to make a shortcut. We teach you today from basic. Please try to make as many units as you can for yourselves or for your neighbors. Or if you start developing this technology, manufacturing them using the blueprint, come back to the Cash Foundation, work with our ethos that we don't work for the profit. We are there to share the technology with the rest of the world. 
We have put parameters to those who want to carry the logo of the Keshe Foundation SSI, and those parameters we keep to. The people who received the first batch of the units this week, you will see it says is used at your own risk because we had to do this as the European licensee certificate, American license certificate are all due within the next few days. When we receive it, we send through the same post a copy to you that your system is certified. It covers all the rules and regulations of EU regulation at the moment. So everything is within the standard. There is no radioactive, there is no magnetic field resonance outside the parameter of the box or in the box that can obstruct the use of it. Don't forget there is international regulation. And that international regulation says you can build whatever you want for your home inside your home. So no one can stop you once we finish by this Friday to build a system for yourself at home. So we teach you to be able to make yourself independent of energy in a vast way. And if you have a generator, you don't need anything here. You're totally independent. If you can put the generator with 10, 20 neighbors and connect to it, each one with the same unit connected, you'll find out you're totally independent. Your fuel is just to create a signal. This is not a signal generator. Signal generator does not enhance the plasma work. It has to be the way it comes through the current flow phasing. This is the main important things which you'll come to understand. So what we do today for the first couple of hours, we try to go to the process, the first step, of what you need to make your system. And then in the afternoon, we go through the session of teaching you what plasma technology is. It's no use you just building something without knowing. And if you understand the total understanding of the new plasma technology, then you know what you're doing. You trust in your own knowledge to expand it. You can develop more systems for humanity, not relying on the Cash Foundation to do it for you. So tomorrow we go after the first step into the next step of the blueprint, how you assemble it, how you got to assemble it. And then on Wednesday, we try to show you how to connect it, the connections. Again, this is the backup internet. Offices, you show us how you've done what you've done the past three, four days. And then we put the whole thing into test on Thursday, Friday. That we all say it works if there are any pitfalls. And from Friday on, the race is free of the traps of energy in so many ways, even though you make connections to your power supply for your signals. The power generation system is slightly different and hopefully we can release that in the coming weeks too. Don't forget when you're building these systems, have one thing in mind. These systems are the beginning of what we call revolution in the space technology. At the moment, for you, it'll be very difficult to understand how to adapt to these and how to use them. I prefer my board. What have we done? I have put my button that way. I have a bigger dot. I've changed my bigger dot. It doesn't go. This board has been here for two weeks, three weeks, now we start using it because his leg arrived, but he can stand on his own. So what happened is very simple. In plasma technology, plasma 
the way you've done, we explained from the beginning of the teaching today, is very simple. All you are used to at the moment is receiving energy through copper wires. All of us receive energy through cables, through different kind of wires, different strength, different number of uh, what I call wire, depending on the gauge or a single one, which is thicker. But at the end of the day, all the power supply today, to our knowledge, is done through the wire, copper wire, sometime aluminum. So all our work is to work around this. What this means is that if we take this wire and now know what it means, what is made of, how it works, you'll find out the human race have used this poor chap totally the wrong way, the worst way they could use. It has so much power that through our lack of knowledge, we didn't know how to use the chap. Now we know. When you look at the system, by the time we come to Friday, you will say, what a waste of 100 years of copper work. We have wasted time, but it's part of the development of the knowledge of human race, which has brought us this change. There is nothing new in the cycle. It's just now we know how to use it more efficiently. One of the problems which have not come to us, and we did not realize what to do with it, is being that this material is in a solid state of matter. What does it mean? If we choose, if we choose the copper, this is the wire. You have to remember, I'm not Picasso, so you got to live with what I do. So this is your wire. This is what we have. We all we did, we put current through it that by the vibration of the electrons in this wire, we managed to put some energy as current in. Oh, we go back. Doesn't matter. We put managed to put energy in, and what we did, it was very easy. We got something out, but what it was, it was irrelevant. Because we knew we lose some energy along the line, and we always considered some losses. As we know, the losses down the copper line became the dispute between Tesla and Edison. Edison tried to transfer the DC with the huge losses that every 10 kilometers or so he had to put a power station to boost the energy. Tesla came with phasing it using the vibration. So in so many ways, all we relied on was on a vibration. Okay, so I'm going to stop Mr. Kesh uh, just as soon as he comes back. Uh, let me just go back on to Zoom here. I'm going to stop Mr. Kesh uh, as soon as he comes back uh, so that we can try to get the internet worked out. Um, Fabio, can you pull the Ethernet on that, please? Is Fabio there? Yes. Can you hear me or are you getting disconnected? Uh, we're getting disconnected. I'm going to try to, to get that worked out, but it might bring out the camera computer. So if we can just hold on for 30 seconds or so, I want to see if we can get it onto the backup system uh, itself. Okay. Without... While you're there, I'm going to perfect my art of drawing. Okay. And I think it's your tie that's causing a problem. So if you can stand back just a little bit, it will probably... My tie? Yes. On the floor? For the rec for the touch screen, I'm talking about. I think it's. Ah, I think it's really touch touch. The screen. Yes. Ah, you see, modern technology is all not free of problems, huh? Yeah. Okay. So let's try to do that. Just give us one moment here, please. Are you ready? Uh, no, just one moment. Fabio, are you still there? Hey. I don't get my line.
What is the problem? Okay, I got my line back. Okay. okay Are you okay? Um, Maybe I get too close to the board. That's what it is. Use the pen. Yeah, Fabio, are you there? Um, uh, can you yeah. just pull the Ethernet cable on that computer? I want to see about just going through the backup and not going through the Ethernet. Are we ready? Let me know when that's done, Fabio, please. Are we ready to go? Can't hear you, Fabio. Fabio, he can't hear you. Yeah, okay. We're okay. Uh, it's pulled out. Yeah, yeah, it's pulled out. It's pulled out. Okay, you're still on, so Kate, okay, we're good to go. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. What well, they had to do with the microphone set. Okay, so what we've done up to now, we relied on the vibration of electron, which is very, very minimal. It's absolutely insignificant compared to the total energy. But that's all we knew. Going into understanding the plasma, as you've been through with us over the past year, two years and the other teaching, you came to understand we went through a specific process where we do not need the copper wire in a matter state. We start making a more efficient use of this copper. How do you make it more efficient? In the present physics, in the present time of electronics, they tell you and they talk about superconductors and super resistors and everything super that can carry the energy with a minimum loss from A to B. So what happened? Our dream has been to create a minimum loss between these two, using and understanding only the vibration of the electron. But in the current time, in the past few years, and as we put, for example, the first signs of creation of superconductors on the internet as a Coca-Cola bottle some 10 years ago, we start raising interest in other people, how this thing works and what it is. So what we did, we still took the same copper, but we brought the superconductivity from this wire itself, not from outside. If you go and buy nanomaterial, you want to coat this wire with nanomaterial, you have to buy a nanomaterial separate, glue it, or do something else that it can create or have a layer of nano layer on it. The way I set up to do it, being a nuclear physicist, understanding in the nuclear structure we can separate the atoms in a much easier way than what we've been told. So I initially use caustic and then electric currents and then other bits over time. So what we've done, if you look here, if they were the atoms connected to each other in the structure of the copper like this, we allow them to be where they are, but we created a very, very special condition. Very, very special condition. And that special condition was that in a matter state, if you heat the wire, it will melt. If you heat the molten metal further, it will evaporate. The trick was to create a condition that you don't melt the wire and the minute the evaporation as a gas of copper created, you can reduce it, that it can pull itself back. That was a trick. To now, 
to create a nanomaterial in a different shape or form, which was allowing to create nanolayers of the metal itself, of the copper itself. So what happens now? We managed to bring them back to be in touch with the copper, but still you see separated according to the gravitational magnetic field, understanding that even in the matter state, each structure has its own, what do you call, gravitational magnetic field. It's like Earth. It has a South Pole entry and it has a North Pole exit. Every single cell in this structure is the same. Every nanomaterial is the same. And when you do this, you find out here, due to a stronger gravitational magnetic field and less magnetical field, which is repulsion, the matter stays more compact. If you reduce the gravitational field strength in respect to the copper and increase the magnetical, which is repulsion, then you get exactly the same state as you get with two magnets. If you have a North Pole and a South Pole, or if you have a North Pole and a North Pole, or South Pole and a South Pole, a plasma behaves exactly like a magnet. It has polarity. It's the sun. If you look at the, one of these, you see the sun. You see the Earth. Earth is a plasma too. So what it is, the gravitational magnetic field between the two creates a gap, a distance, where they can coexist with no problem. The gravitational magnetic field between the Earth and the Sun dictates the position of the Earth in respect to the Sun. It's the same with your nano layers on top. Because don't forget the bound and the binding of gravitational magnetic field on a wire is stronger, so the nanomaterial behaves as a satellite. And what happens is that now you have put this wire here. When you give it the right heat and the right condition, you create nanolayers. But if you look, the nanolayers are positioned magnetic gravitationally in respect to each other, where magnetical field is bigger, stronger, gravitational less compared to before. So now what you have is you have a spectrum here of nanomaterial flow. Superconductivity where there is the orange line because now you have less resistance the compact, so the material behaves as a superconductor. So what it was, it was to heat the material high enough in a very short span, very rapid, that it releases itself from the matter state solid to nano state solid. And the proof of that was that we could see, if you look, from above, a black line. The black line was the indication of nanomaterial. Because on the top surface of these nano layers, when you look on the top, being black means they absorb every radiation which comes to the wire. If you look, this is a nano coated material and it's totally black. Every single wire is black, which means it's totally nanolayered. Now, this was half of the problem. So the next problem comes, how can we release these nano entities to become a free plasma, free sun? Because at this moment, the way they are, they are still connected to each other in one way or another to 
the main copper line. So in the process today, we teach you how to do it. All the Keshe Foundation supporters around the world have been doing it for a long time. But because we know there is a huge number of new people online and are here to learn for the first time about evolution of the plasma, we go through every step one by one. Those are who are advanced, unfortunately, you all have to wait till Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, that you can collect, collect your wires, that you get something, then you'll be happy. But you've got to understand, the progress of technology this time is with us, amongst us, and all of us, we're going one step. So in time, we have to learn and know, understand what we are doing. So what happened is that we managed to create, ooh, come back here. We managed to create a nano layer. But this nano layer is still a stock to the copper. What are we going to do? What is our position? The next step was to be able to release every single atom. You're leaving us? Sure. Was to make sure that we can create an independent entity from these nano layers. When you see a nano layer, when you see a black coated wire, which is of its own, don't forget this nano material here <coughs> is atomic structure of the copper itself. It has not been coated. <coughs> As we heated it the right way, we'll teach you how, we managed to release the top layer into open freedom, but partially connected. For you to see these black entities on the wire, copper wire, <coughs> needs at least 30, 40,000 nano layers. So <coughs> when you have the copper wire, and when you see it in black, coated, that's 30, 40,000 layers. That <coughs> every, every gravitational magnetic field rays, energy, which enters or comes down from the atmosphere to the wire, the energy gets trapped in these gaps. And because they get trapped, they don't reflect back, and the material looks black to you. This is one of the signs of superconductivity, absorption of all the material, all the energies. So when you measure across the nanomaterial here, you get 20 megawatt of resistance, me mega ohm of resistance. But when you put current through this nano layer, because there is no physical electron to resist it, is superconductivity. It's the first time man has managed to produce superconductive materials at room temperature and pressure. This has been the biggest problem in the world of science for a long time, to create superconductors at room temperature. Now we have it. And the process takes a few hours and less than a few cents. So now you understand why these things start looking magic, why we start having energies and being able to show these kind of performances from such a small box. But this is not the end. This was the beginning of the problem. We have the superconductor, but we absorb energy from what is available in the environment. Not, we cannot dictate the continuity of the supply. We needed to find a way to guarantee a continuity of supply of energy to our wires. The solution came and is part of what we are made of. We as human beings are not made of matter, but we are made of a state of plasma, which feels like matter, but in fact is a free energy circle or is a plasma on its own. So 
the next step for this was to develop a technology that we could release these single plasmas, which now were not attached to the matter state, but were attached to another plasma. The process was very simple. Looking into the way the universe works, all we had to do was to add a new material in the environment. So what we did, we added this copper environment, which is nano-coated, into a new environment, what we call, if it comes with me, this guy. No, it doesn't want to come. Pardon? Oh, there it is. So what we did, we put the material in a replication of the Earth atmosphere, where we introduced, I have a very bad cup, I have a water here, thanks. We introduced now, here we introduced the copper in the solid state into a new environment to create the nano layer. Heat it up enough that it can loosen up, heat it further to become vaporized, that the molecular structure become loose, and then let it attach itself to become nanomaterial. Now we needed a new condition. The new condition we wanted was the replication of the earthwork. Earth does this, separates the nanomaterial through salt water of the seas to make single plasmas. So what we did, we added salt water in this environment, and what we got was the magic of what we call free plasma. If it comes on, if it decides to play. Now what we have is free plasmas. It will take us ages to get this little body working properly. So now what we have is free plasmas. If you look what the free plasma means, it means it's not attached to a matter state, it's not attached to another, it's free on its own, and it makes itself decision if it's gonna absorb energy or release energy, which side is gonna be North Pole, which is gonna be South Pole. So now it's a free plasma. Don't forget the sun itself is a free plasma too, so the earth. So now, by releasing the atomic structure into a nano structure, and then by changing it to a gas structure, we have managed to create the replication of the energy source of the plasma, the same as the sun. Every single atom, when it's separated into atomic gas state of a plasma, now it's the sun on its own. It means it's a source of energy. This is the where you see the magic, where to you has become a puzzling, how can we produce so much energy from such a little box without any heating? Because now we have managed to create a free plasma. And now if you can master it and find it the right way, and now that you have the free plasma, allow the free plasma, to be connected to the nanomaterial, to be connected to the wires, what you're gonna get is indefinite energy. This is the new energy source. This is the breakthrough in the world of science, what you've been waiting for. To create a plasma which can release its energy on demand and freely. So you don't need the oil wells and you don't need the coils to burn. All you need is to free the plasma and then once you free it, bring it back that it can release its energy into the wire if you want an AC, into the nano layer if you want a DC. Because plasma is only DC. It does not have alternative. It doesn't alternate at all. It flows because it flows through gravitational magnetic field 
and not through vibration. Here, you need vibration. Here, you need magnetic flow. Here is a total superconductivity, which is going to lead to new materials, which we could not even dream of a few years ago we could have. So what you see now, to be able to put a level to the release of energy, we connect the wire from the supply to this chap and not to this chap here. And then when you do this, you set the parameter for the release of the energy from here to this unlimited. The vibration of the frequency of the current present system allows us to extract energy at 50 kilohertz for the systems which are set that way on the AC and the same if it's for DC. So now you can understand the science behind it and then now we go through a step by step of how to convert this to this, this to this, and then attach this to this, but create an environment that the total three layers work together in giving you whatever you need. This is the secret. And this is why these systems are called MAGRAF, magnetic and gravitational. Magnetical is what comes out, the system wants to release. Gravitational is what system takes from the plasma to give to the environment, whatever the usage is at the end. It has taken over 40 years of research and development. It has taken years of hard work to be able to release this. I would have released this 10, 15 years ago, but at that time they accused me of using nuclear material. They accused me, they tried to kill me four times over the Belgian authorities for discovery of such a simple technology. They called me a terrorist and my organization, Cash Foundation, was brought under persecution by the Belgian government to hide and disclose this, that no man can have access to free energy. Now it's yours. We stood three exiles with my family and five suicide, what do you call it, attempted murders, poisoning, for you human beings to be free to understand this, to have energy. And this is what it costs. Life of a family in the hand of a king who wants it to be dead that he can control, and that's all it is. Cash plasma technology, what do you get as energy? That's all it is. That's as much as you can understand at the moment. But now we have moved into plasma. We don't talk about this, but in the energy system, you can see how easily now you do not need any oil. You do not need any fuel to burn. Even where we connect to electricity here, at this moment, we can connect to no electricity. We can use a plasma, but the performance is not at the level we expected. We can push it in a coming time, we'll deliver a three phase up to one megawatt units that it can be done. But you have to realize something which is very important in the coming months that here at these with these units, you are connected to an input and an output. But in the coming time, understanding that each box is like a sun, you'll find out you don't need no connections. You take energy from the system as you wish without any wire connection. We already achieved this, but to commercialize it, it takes a few more weeks. You can literally take the unit, put it in the center of the house and plug anything anywhere as you wish, they run themselves. You don't need to have an electric connection. What it means, if the fridge comes on to cover 30 or 20 degrees or five degrees, automatically it takes power from this power supply. <coughs> if you're in the house and you want your body temperature to be at 30 degrees that you feel comfortable, it stays at 30 degrees. You want a boiling water 
at 60 degrees or 50 degrees. When you touch the water, it'll be 50, 60 degrees. We already have seen it. The people who are testing can tell you, you touch the material is cold, but in your hand is boiling. You feel the temperature. So we are in those kind of stages, but what is important, has been important, is to release this knowledge in a magra positioning, which is magnetic gravitational power units. Today, as we promised, as of 12 o'clock tonight, the units get dispatched. Because we made an agreement with the World Peace Treaty that by 26, which finishes tonight at 12 o'clock, we are free. We kept the word to the government, and from tonight, all the units which has been purchased will be released around Europe. As I said, this CE certificate will be on the products from the first week of November. It's released to be done. American standard will be two weeks later, and the worldwide standards will follow through it. So we stand with our own disclosure and with the same technology. But what my request from all of you is, do not wait for our system. What to do is to actually get on and literally make your own unit. Make as many units as you can and demonstrate it as you use it, because this is important. The important thing with it is, once we do this demonstration of technology worldwide, then governments cannot block the technology because in the coming months, we show you something very interesting. Every time we release another blue box, we'll have a workshop day like this, that you understand what a workshop day is. What it means is very simple. We add a food unit, you can copy it. We add, a, a, what do you call it, energy unit, you can add to it. We add a health unit, you can add to the system. We add a system which can produce any material, you can add to it. So in the coming months, these background power units will give you everything which you need. Because if you understood, with all of us, we have managed to do one thing. And that one thing was, we have understood how, if this thing works with me, if it decides to do, I prefer to go to back to my pen and my board. We go to 21st century, but we cannot do it. So. Where is my board engineer? What do you got to understand? No, it doesn't give it to you. Are you coming up? I've done the razor. What? Yeah, but it doesn't let me to go to a pen. It blocks me from a pen. Okay, now I have a pen. No, I don't have a pen. There we are. We are there, okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Marco. So what we have, if you understood, is we have shown you how to make a sun. That's all. Now, sun rays goes across the planet, across the solar system, unconditionally converts to what it needs to be at the time. So now we have found these units we have replicated it in different forms. Depends what you want it to do. Energy, food, medicine, call this Venus, call this Earth, call this Saturn. In different position in the space, we create different materials. Now we have the knowledge to do that. Now we have the capability understanding in a simple conversion what to do. As I said, we open the blueprint. 
The blueprint means to teach you everything step by step. Today, we teach you how to do the first job, which was to create the first stage of what we call nanomaterial. You have the copper wire. This copper wire, thank you very much. You need it to be what we have seen for this system is known as a copper wire gauge 14. It's about 1.6 millimeter thickness. That's what we find to be the optimum strength for the household use. Easy to manipulate, easy to work. What you do, you have to understand the work of the plasma and construct a continuous flow of plasma. What does this mean? If you get it back again, it's, I have to do this way. It's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's easier to write the board. I'm too old fashioned. Which one? This. This. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, this youngsters are better than us, huh? Ten years makes a lot of difference. <laughs> <coughs> So, remember something. We'll come into the teaching. When you have a plasma, plasma is like this. When you made those, what we call the GANs, the green materials, they're like this. But what they have, they have magnetical from North Pole to South Pole, from North Pole to South Pole connection. At the same time, the north pole of this partially feeds back. So if you look at this structure, you'll find out a single wire does not give you this effect. So what is the closest that you can bring these plasmas in a free condition close to each other that behave like a North and South Pole. What do you see if you look? You go North and you go South, North and South, North and South. Where do we get closest to this shape? That we can continuously suppress a plasma to this shape. Spring. If you look at the spring, it gives you near enough the shape you're looking for. It goes from a north to the south, a north to the south. So in fact, now we have found the shape that we can replicate not only the shape of the plasma, but the flow of the plasma current through too. So that was the next step. And what do you find out? If you have North Pole to North Pole, magnetical to magnetical, and gravitational to gravitational, there is a piece missing here. Because this now behaves only like the magnetical, not the gravitational part. So what we found out was easier to do. Let this be the magnetical and put another coil inside, which behaves very much like the gravitational side. So the magnetical spreads opener, the gravitational tighter. We put the gravitational in the middle. We put the magnetical rejection outside. So what you get now is the increase 
of the two fields to come together. How you connect the north and the south, how you do this job, then dictates on you how you can manipulate the power. So what you see today, we go through the process of this. And then if you can make your units ready, your springs ready by tomorrow, tomorrow we go to the next step of interaction of connection. So what you need to do, you need two type of springs. One very wide and one very narrow. In a way, if I can show it to you, that you can insert one plasma inside the other. So what it means, if this is the bigger one, what we call magnetical, which is the green one, then we insert the gravitational inside. Then we see we have both whatever is released and whatever can be absorbed in the same system. As I said to you, in our trials and tests, we found copper 14, gauge 14 as the best for power production. What you need to do in a simple way, you get yourself a very thin wire, a very thin bar that by adding the wire to it, you can still insert it into a bigger bar or bigger spring. The secret to this is when you hold the copper wire in your hand, you have to wind it anti-clockwise, which means if you go this way, it's clockwise. You have to go backwards. You wind it anti-clockwise. The number of turns is how tight you want to make it. And then when you made your turns, you have the spring shape like this. So what we find out is you need to have one of the best ways with a 14 gauge is around about 70 to 80, oh, it loses position. You need between 70 and 80 turns. So you need something between 70 of these nudges. When you made it, you just pull it a little bit that they are not touching. There's just about a gap in it. And then you do the same. You get a bigger bar, a thicker bar like this, and now you do the bigger bar inside. The same, that where, in fact, if you look, the thinner winding, when you separated it, can fit into the other. When you made this, you make sure that on a smaller or thinner bar, where you started the anti-clockwise turning, you leave at least the same size as what you wind it free. You don't cut. You need to have a free wire on one end. On the beginning end, about four or five centimeters is good enough. On the other end, for the piece which goes in the center, you need more or less the length of the hole wire one and a half times free, which means you don't cut the spring here. You go back, you measure the length of the spring which you made, for example, and you go one and a half times. There is a reason for this. Then what you do, 
Don't forget, we are only back on the wire section, huh? Now we need to go through the process that we can now release the nanomaterials on the surface. The Keshe Foundation supporters around the world, they know if you don't know, go on the internet, look for nano coating, Keshe Foundation YouTube. There's numbers, hundreds of videos everywhere, different people doing it different way. What do you do? First of all, is that you insert the two together inside, and then you choose the way you want to create the nano coating. How you want to nano coat it. I advise you to do the insertion first before you nano coat, because you find out it's much easier. And then what you need to do, where I told you on the other, the inner part that you have one and a half length free without uh, turns. You turn this back on itself through the center of itself. What it means, you go through the whole circle inside just with a wire. This is important because when you come in, you will see it on the, on the drawings, which is on the blueprint, the wire from here, which comes out, and then this is the other end of it, which you have loose. This is the center coil, you go inside itself. So when you make this into a coil, it just falls inside, and then you leave the wire. Don't touch it, don't do anything else with it. Then now you need to do another job. You need this one, don't forget, was between 70 and 80 coils, both inside and outside. You need to make yourself another coil, the same, two inside out, one for about 150 to 160 turn. <sighs> it's an art to learn this. So what you need is you need a second circle. Da, 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 da. You need a second spring of between 150 to 160. Oh, I know what it is. It's the vibration of the board. Ooh, drop the book. So what you need is two double coils. One of 70 to 80, and one of 150 to 160. What this means is you need a small double coil like this, and you need a larger double coil like this where once you nano coat these the same way as we showed you, you have, in fact, a two coil inside each other small and a two coil outside each other large. So, in fact, what you sit is with If you look at it, you sit with this. You have a coil like this, and you have a coil like this. Here is two coils, and here is two coils. And don't forget, the same applies to the bigger coil. Your inserted coil inside, at the point of exit, where you put it through your coil, has to be long enough to go through itself, to come out. This is important. You will understand why and how 
when we come to assembly. So now you have created yourself four coins. And I'll tell you what you need. You need three of this, and you need three of this. With one, it will not be powerful enough to meet the demand. So, you're looking very strange. Uh, you understand. So, what you have is you have, in fact, three with 70 to 80, and three between 150 to 160 turn. If you can make this, you have got the basis for your power supply. So now you're still dealing in a matter state. If you want, we can go to the next step. But as I know, a lot of Keshe Foundation followers around the world know what they're going to do. We teach everybody the same till we see tomorrow. If you made anything, you can show us. What do you need to do at this stage once you made it? You have to make the springs nano coated, which they become like this. Black, you know they're totally nano coated. And then you put the smaller one inside it. So now you have two sets inside each other. And then you have a twist of the first one to go through it. So what you achieve is a simple coil inside a coil, 70 to 80 turn, or 150 to 180 turn. The biggest problem for you and the biggest expense for you will be the copper. The copper cost for each unit anything between 50 to 100 euro. Depends on the purity, depends on the volume and everything else. This is the main cost of production. Does not matter if you're in China, you're here or anywhere in the world, copper more or less has the same value for the wire. And it sticks to that kind of prices as we see worldwide. Then, how to get to this from this? This is very simple. With this, we have developed a process called nano coating. To do that, to make a nano material, if you go to the present market and buy a nano material, they charge you a fortune. You can do yourself with what we call a soda caustic. What this is, is what is known as NaOH. This is what somebody cleaned me out. I think it's the webmaster in the background. No, you just have to pull it down a little bit. It's uh, moved back up. I went back it up. Okay. Ah, ooh, I learned that bit. Magic. Okay. So you have this. This is what it is. If you don't know what name it is, you get the toilet blocked. You have a barbecue you want to clean up. You go and buy yourself a caustic soda to unplug the toilet to clean the mesh of the barbecue. That's what it is. You put a very little amount of it at the bottom of a box, and then you put your coils in a way that they don't get to the bottom, but they hang in it, but it has to be fully covered, uh, that when you put the water in it, you fill it up till the wires are covered, with the boiling hot water, it creates a steam. Be careful with your lungs, with your hands, with your face of the kickback of the steam of the caustic. You don't Mr. burn. Cash, yes. Would you like us to get a, uh, a couple of videos teed up for? Yes, please. Um, That'll be fantastic. Yes, please. Okay. And also, show it to you. 
Also, I have uh, another surprise oh, too. Yes. Uh, Please, for safety, beware of the boiling water, beware of a steam of caustic. Let me explain to you something what you're watching now. What you see now, what we are teaching you now is putting shiver on the back of every oil producing nation is literally bringing most of the power producing companies into a standstill because now they know there is no way to stop you to be free of energy. What you watch at the moment, what you see, how I share this knowledge so freely with you is a nightmare for the oil nation producing companies, countries, electricity producing countries, mm -hmm. and in so many ways makes man free of energy, free of the shackles of the power of power supplies and oil industry. You will understand by Friday what I mean, and hopefully by Friday I'll show you something which will shock you in so many ways to understand how far with this little process you have to become free that in the next week, in the next two weeks, you don't have to sleep in a cold room, fear of you can't pay the electricity bill anymore. We show you by the end of this week how you can tap in to the energy of the grid that only supplies you not the energy, but the frequency of a plasma, and you have everything free run by Christmas if you do it the right way. So now you understand how fundamental this change is. Copper wire, which has been abused totally by human race for the past 100 years, now is getting used the correct way by us. Because once you follow this procedure, the same technology will apply that you can use it for the car. How? To connect the system into your car to reduce the fuel consumption, the oil consumption by anything up to 70%. As I said in the other teachings, as I said, if you understood just now, you are not producing energy one plus one or 100 plus energy. There is nothing free about this. The only thing you're getting now, you have changed fuel. You have changed fuel from uh, coal or oil to a plasma. And this time, the way you nano-coated the material, the way you seen it, unfortunately I cleaned it up, but I draw it for you again. Uh, I get my pen back, the way Geniuses of this board, you bought it at least. Top button. It's the top button, button that you have to have the, if you look to the top button. there. Yes, there you go. What happened? This is your copper wire. You nano coated it. I showed it to you uh -uh. with a caustic. You put the wire, you put caustic at the bottom. Try to put these wires just off the mesh of the ground that you don't get the residue of the caustic in it. Put hot water, boiling hot water on it. Close the lid. Leave it for 24 hours. Then take it out of the caustic. Water has to cover the material. Take it out of the caustic. Empty the bucket or the box and leave it back in the box. This can be done very quickly and close the box and leave it for another day. That the nano layers can grow. It's like making popcorn. You have to allow it to pop. And then you get a good nano layer. And then when you've done this, there are enough videos. We're going to show you some videos, references you can go to. When you nano coated it, you are halfway through. You have the basic material, but you'll find out if you try to work with it, it will not work. What you need to do is while you are making these coils, 
try to get hold of some copper strips or copper plates or a strip more copper wires while you're doing it and put them inside to nano coat. You need to make yourself, this is you made the wire into the nano coated, but now we have to go to the next step, which is the free plasma. How do you produce the free plasma? The free plasma, what we call the gas, nano gases in nano state, again, is on the internet of the Keshe Foundation website. You can find it everywhere. What do you need to do? You made yourself three of these and three of these. But try to make at least while you're doing it, because you got to do it, make yourself about 10 pieces of about 15 centimeter long, just copper wires without turning, without coiling it. So what you need is literally make yourself a strips of about this much wire, don't forget, gauge 14, and just put them aside. Just put them in there to be nano-coated because you need these when you come to connect. You need these wires for your connections. So when you made the coils, everything is finished. You make about 10 of these because it might come handy and you will find out why they come handy in a very short time. And you put these in a nano coating. When you nano coated it, in a day or two days, you take it out. If you found some copper wires, extra copper wires that you could nano coat or the plates like this, which you put through the same process. You put these plates in the box and then you let it nano coat. These are needed for your next step to make the free plasmas. So is step by step. You know what gauge you need, you know what copper wire you need, you need, you know how many windings you need, you know now you have the basis for one of the most powerful energy producing units in the universe. In time, I'll show you how powerful. It's so powerful that it can feed you for generations. But step by step, you've seen it. This is the next step to it. Then when you nano coated it, you need a small piece of zinc or you need another piece of copper, which is not nano coated. You keep it not coated, just keep it aside. Or you keep, <coughs> a piece of wire, copper wire aside. So we go through it step by step and we all understand. <clears throat> you need yourself a very long meters of gauge 14 copper wire. You make three bigger size dimension and three the smaller size dimension coils, which they can go inside each other of 70 to 80. And then the other one of 150 to 160 turns with the smaller diameter to have a length about one and a half times what you coiled back out, then you insert the coil inside each other. And from the end, which is the longest, once you turn, you coil it, when you put it inside, you turn it to 
to half a sphere or to a full sphere, and you insert the long piece back in the center of itself to go through. And then you leave it as that. Then you place it in a box where you put caustic at the bottom. Then you put your six set of coils. Each one of these is considered as one set, three a small set, and three large set. You put them in a pot. You need about 10 of the wires, the same gauge, to be cut to go in the same pot. And in the same pot, you put a big piece of copper, the same. You put a caustic in, hot boiling temperature water, put a lid on, and leave it for 24 hours. I presume a lot of you who listened to the teaching on Friday and Thursday last week knew what to get because we gave you the, the shopping list last week. Some of you have already bought, some of you already know what to do. Do you want to show the videos, Vince? Uh, yeah, I have them teed up here, just a moment. These are the videos which has been made over years by different Cash Foundation supporters around the world. So they share it. We hope if you know any other way to do it, to share it with us, there is a way you can use uh, gas to heat the copper up to nanocoat. It needs a lot of expertise. There is a way you can connect the uh, wire to the electric current at 1.5 volts or 2 volts and uh, 1 amp or 0 0.5 amps. You can still nanocoat. The new way of nanocoating, which you will understand, can be done with these systems, which you see now as a power supply, that the plasma itself will nanocoat the wires too. This is a new development of the technology through plasma. It costs a little more, more or less than nothing, but you need the first system to be able to make the plasma. Uh, Mr. Kesh, if you want to expand your view of the Zoom, then you'll be able to see the screen share. What do you want me to? Oh, you want me to get this guy down? Just click on the maximize on it. There you go. Thank you. Okay. So now we all see how it's done. This is from videos of the Cash Foundation. It's done. Pardon? Move this window. Okay. This is done by Armin. We need his voice. He's muted. Okay, sorry, I, I forgot to do something. Just one sec, I'll redo that. Okay. No problem. So what do you need? One thing very important. There are a few things to repeat, and it's very important. As you see in the hand of armor, you cannot touch nanomaterials with the bare hand. You have to wear gloves because nanomaterials are absorbent of energy into your body. You have to wear gloves. The other thing is the temperature. You have to be aware of it. Thirdly, which is important, you realize, make sure your caustic does not carry any chlor or chlorine in it. This can give you different kind of materials which you might not need. Okay, can you go? It's still muted. Sorry, just one sec. Hello, everybody. Uh, 
In this video, we're going to show a simple way how to make a good uh, material. Zinc is going to be copper or it's going to be iron. All you have to do, over here we have a caustic soda, NaOH, and you have to put some of the caustic soda on the bottom of the container. Try to cover every single part. Then we put the material on the mesh and boil the water. When the water is boiled, try to wear your gloves. This is a little bit difficult to do precise, but you have to right away cover the lead. Yeah. Try to cover the material. The slimming process is gonna go uh, half an hour or so. So leave it as is, 24 hours in the caustic. And then in the next video, we're gonna show how to steam nanocoat. Thank you. That's how simple it is to make a nanomaterial. And uh, now we see the second part. Hello everybody. In this video, we're gonna show how to nanocoat the second time, which is going to be vapor nanocoat. After a good nano coating, you're going to take the material and hang it straight up. Bear with me. going to put the caustic again very little this time you don't need that much and do the second time you know vapor nano protein We're going to leave this process to go another 24 hours. Then after 24 hours, we have to take our voltmeter and try to drain the, our voltage out. This way we're going to create more stable nano, nano layers, uh, which is uh, going to uh, repeat this process several times. Every five, six hours, we just have to drain the uh, voltage up and let it dry uh, for 24 hours and in next video we're going to show how to do it third time and drying which is most important thing. Thank you. Hello, in this video we're going to show how to dry an interior. It takes a long time, actually. Uh, we have to empty the water. And we have to leave a little bit water in the container. And we have to close it down and leave it just a little bit open window that you can dry it very slowly. This process takes like three, four days, minimum. You have to understand that uh, drying process which will firm your nanomaterial. And you have to do one more thing every six hours, just with your voltmeter, try to put in a microvolt, 
and try to touch one side with on the mesh and second on the top of the your nanomaterial. You're gonna see right away that we are draining. And this process you have to repeat in uh, uh, several times, you know, in, in two, three days, you know, every six hours, you just have to open up your container and do this process. Which going in uh, time, you're gonna have a firm nano coat material. Thank you. You can do this yourself at home, or you leave it to people who know what to do with it and produce mass produce it. The mass production, not the X, the minus. Cancel that. Cancel. Cancel. The minus. Well, okay, no problem. Try again. I minimize you, but you gotta do it by this by the computer. So. What you've seen is this process, first step of producing nanomaterials. That's how you do with your system, how you do with your copper wires. And you have started the first step to produce your own power supplies. Very simple. To nanotechnologists, up to a couple of years ago when we opened it in public, this only could be done by using gamma rays and nuclear material. And now you see all of you are nuclear physicists. That's how it is, how easy it has become, how I made human race, nuclear physicists raised. And the only one, the only nation which is left behind cannot touch nanomaterial by law is the Belgium citizens. If you're a Belgium citizen, it's passed in your parliament. If you touch nanomaterial, make nanomaterial, you are a terrorist person and terrorist organization. It's ingrained, it's enshrined in your law. It was done by the people who stopped the technology, tried to stop this technology, and they thought they can stop the whole human race because they could pass such a law in Belgian parliament, then nobody will do and the Keshe Foundation technology will die. So if you're a Belgium, as far as we know, if you produce nanomaterials, if you make any of these coils, you become like Cash Foundation a terrorist organization. So you have to go to your government, submit your nanomaterials, get their approval before you can join the rest of human race. This is part of the law of your country. As we say, we have to obey all the rules and all the laws, so this is law in your country. Now, what you have to understand, tomorrow, when you made your nanomaterial, we teach you how to make the Gans state, the free plasmas. You need to make a lot of these Gans material deliberately as much as you need, as much as you can. So when you are making these little cubes, try to make a lot of them. Try to make at least five or six of these big cubes, copper sheets, that you can produce large amount of free plasma, what we call a GANS, tomorrow or in the coming weeks. So now you see how we are opening the blueprint. We are opening, not only just giving you a diagram, but teaching you how to do it. Never in a man's history, knowledge has been shared so openly, so directly for the benefit of mankind. So what do you have to realize? Try to make as many as these as possible. We can produce up to a million boxes a month by the end of this year in Italy. We encourage 
companies who want to join us to come in. We give you not only the blueprint as we are opening, but we can supply you the machines and the technology in the background that you can join us to produce as much as possible rapidly. You got to realize one point. When you put these units in operation, you save not only yourself from heavy energy costs, which has stopped you from eating your house, or being able to use energy freely, but you release your nation from the shackles of a huge debts to oil companies and the, to oil nations. Because now, if you're an African nation, if you're a European nation, if you're American or Chinese, with this technology, by the time we finish on Friday, you find out how free you become. You don't use, let's say if you have 20 power stations in your country, you can shut down 19 of them. You only need to run one. One enough to create the signals down the grid. As I said, we will give a large number of these units to different nations. Next week, or the week after, when we finish with the original orders, I'll invite the ambassador of Palestine to Keshe Foundation, and we'll give the Palestinians a thousand units to go to Palestine next week. The week after, we release a thousand units across Italy that by Christmas, Italians benefit by allowing this technology to be developed here. And every day, we calculate on how much order we receive. Accordingly, part of the production will be given to the African and the third world nation. We know that even in Israel, there are people who sleep hungry because they can't afford energy bills. We'll send units to Tel Aviv for the Israelis to say. So, with the new technology, we force sharing of knowledge, and in two weeks' time, we'll have the Palestinian ambassador, who you saw in the presentation of the World Ambassadors, here in Cash Foundation, or at the site of the factory to receive the first units to be flown into Palestine. At the same time, we'll have our Ghanaian or Nigerian representative of the Cash Foundation to ship the thousand into Africa. For every thousand units you receive, we put at least 3,000 units out. In the coming weeks, when the competition builds up, we reduce the price. For every unit you buy, we ask you to donate and pay for a second or a third unit. So the expansion of the technology and use of it depends not on your generosity, but understanding that it's the time to be equal. So for we put the price for one unit, you donate three units, or you pay for three units. One which goes to your nation, and one will go to a third world nation. This process it becomes very easy. We have already produce the first batch to leave by this Friday. And next week, we have 10,000 units online ready to go. The prices will be kept the same. You see, and I explained to you, the process is very, looks simple, but it's not that simple. Secondly, to get it done that everybody can use it, the old, the needed, the young can't produce this system. So we need huge production organizations. We are prepared to support you. We finance the countries which they can't do. But this time, we don't teach you to fish. We fish together that nobody will go hungry. So the process is very simple. You buy one for yourself, and you share two more with others. We've seen a number of people who come to us and say, I just want to buy for myself. Orders which are single will meet. Our contract is two years' time delivery. We put it in our site. Single orders, 
agreement is two years till we go and get it somewhere else because our ethos is the same, it will stay the same. There will be hundreds of people who would like to supply the same. But understand one principle. You share, we have more to share, you still, there is no more to, to share. You steal from humanity, you will lose because this time around, we all get together very rich, very quick. And at the same time, we become rich, not in the pocket, we become rich in understanding that the society work collectively throughout this planet. Then we become one race, one nation, one planet, and then we can achieve peace. This time, you cannot go and say, my government tax me. You cannot say, I have to pay to my government and the ministers will take all. This time you make it at home, you use it at home. No minister can tell you what to do at home. No minister can tell you what to eat at home. No minister or president can tell you what to do when you're sick. If a president says you cannot use a plasma technology when you've got a cancer, there's something wrong with it, you say, President, give me the solution. I do it myself. I take the hold of the energy supply myself that I make sure my child doesn't go hungry, my child doesn't go cold in the winter. You cannot supply to me freely the way I can do it. So we have two choices. I'm the president of my life. I'm the president of in charge of my situation in my house. You are incapable to serve me and your nation. There is no need when the leaders cannot meet the demand of the nation. So the situation is very simple. We haven't started a revolution. We have a started evolution of science. And that's where we're gonna change. You've seen how much you have dug copper out of the mines of Africa and you never put anything back. And now you've seen with the greed how much you have missed in using a simple product, you are happy with the crumbs, what you call electric current. Now with a plasma current, you can have whatever you need and you like. Even the top scientists around the world in the governments cannot believe such a thing is sitting on the table in front of them. Am I correct? Arman has just come back from a trip from two world leaders nations of Armenia and Georgia sitting on the board with the top scientists to analyze it, they're still baffled by it, correct? They want formulas. We'll ask the sun to send the formula of its energy of the plasma. When the sun will send it, we'll have it, we'll give it to the university of the president. So now you see how simple it has become. No one can call you a criminal because all you're doing is the same wire they gave you to wire your house. Nobody can tell you it's a criminal activities because it's the same caustic as it's used in presidential palaces and in people's home and in the barbecue shops to clean up the system. And nobody can tell you how to connect a wire the way you like. This is what I told you, no government at no level can stop humanity to progress from now on. Because we have mined enough copper that we can produce systems so easily. We have enough caustic that we can produce as much as we like to nanosize. If some of you don't know where to get caustic, caustic is made very easy. Does anybody want to explain how you make caustic? When you make your barbecue, keep the ashes. The ashes of your barbecue, and then boil them. Am I correct? More or less. Then you got your caustic. There is no nuclear material, according to the Belgian government, imported from Iran to produce a hidden nuclear, what they call a nuclear laboratories in Belgium. 
That was the threat. The stupidity of the leaders deprived Belgium of one of the biggest national assets they had, which was the cash technology and cash foundation in the nation. So they robbed you of the biggest thing. Now the Italians have allowed us. We have opened the factories here and the asset sits with the rest of the Europe. And the Belgium can't even import it because it's illegal in their country to produce nanomaterials. You have two choices. Shut the parliament, put the president, the king, and the prime minister in prison, then you're all free. Your freedom in Belgium comes by one simple move. Don't touch any nanomaterials, otherwise you're all criminals. Because it's a law in your nation. The rest of the human race, you're welcome to a free energy. We teach you everything step by step. Step by step in this week, I even show you how many turns. I show you how to turn it and how to do it, how much wire you need. If you can't get hold of wire 14, it means you have a less power system, but you still can produce the same system. If you get a 14, it's powerful enough to stand high resistance temperatures. So what you need is very simple. You have everything at home. You have everything which sits in your house. You have a wood, you burn it. You have ash, you mix it, you go on the internet, see how you make caustic, it's very simple. Then you don't even need to buy it. You have the copper wires, pull the wires off the walls you don't need anymore. You know, the basement you don't use, take the wires out, becomes your power supply. Old wiring system in the house, you know those twisted ones with a cloth on it? They are the best copper wires you can use, pure copper. So you have everything to start the first foundation of energy system, which when you use it properly, we show you how to make food and the medicine. And this is the first thing you need after the energy. Are there any questions? Do you see any questions in the background? The what? What do they want? Ah, how to make the springs. Which camera do you want to have it? Fabio? Um, can they want to see a closer look at these wires? Can you zoom in? There is a spot I have to go in that you can see me. Is this good? This cross is for this reason. He gets a good shot. Is it possible to make some light there in the front? Pardon? Oh, you can't see it. If I put my hand behind it, it's good. Okay. Would you? Oh, sorry. Would you like to hold your book here for a second? Sabrina is the lady who translated for you in the third uh, conference. She's here now with the camera crew. The, if you look at it, it is a coil of a thinner dimension, anti-clockwise, the same here, anti-clockwise. They have to be inserted back to back. And when you get on this side, you twist this wire back into the center of the thin one. So then this is what you're going to get. Stay there, I'll come back. This is, this is like a 80 turn. That's what it looks like, a 80 turn. And this is like 160 turn of different gauge. If you go that way, you can see it. So you can see both. Is that OK? Perfect. So, this but three different kinds. two different kinds. Two. No, these are the smaller and the bigger. Now you got two loops. This is for, if we call, this is for loop one. This is loop one, and this is loop two. The smaller one has two inside, one inside the other, 
and it's the same with the loop two. You need two loops like this. You need two loops like this, one inside, one outside, and each loop has two, one inside and one outside. Yeah, so in fact, each loop, each set of loops is two here and two here. So it's four of them. Four, two of the bigger inside each other and two of the smaller inside each other. But you need three sets of. You need three sets. If let's let's talk to you, talk it this way. You have we're gonna let me take it off, then we are all understanding what we are talking. Small. Pen. Black. Rubber. Oh no. Rubber. I try to get this off, I try to get this off, I take this off, I take this off. Okay, let's connect these, then we know what we are talking about. This is A, okay? A, and this is B. B. This is B. Okay. Let's get rid of all this. Rubber. We need a bigger one. This board needs patience and I don't have. It takes time of thinking. I'm sure I'm there's sure quick ways. To oh God, I want my board back guys. No, because we want to keep it this way. Okay, let's look at it this way. A is one inside and one outside. B is the same. There is one inside and one outside. Ah, oh, no problem. I'm not an Englishman. Now it's become B. Okay. So one outside. That's your one set. Then you need, you need, you need, guys, you're very clever, but you don't know what you've done with me with this thing. You need three of this. And you need three of this. So, and then you need 10 pieces of about 15 centimeter, just wires, nano coated. One of the easiest thing for you to do is once you made the coils from the beginning, when you are nano coating, when it's finished, when you made the wires before you nano coat, do something very simple at the end of each line. Just turn the wire back on itself. It's important. These are little things you will see. So when you've done the wire, once before when you finished it before you put in the caustic, most of the lines, when it comes to the end of the line, don't leave it open like this. Take it and just twist it back on itself. Because this way, energy is free. When you twist it back itself, 
the energy gets absorbed by the port. So you don't waste any field. There are little, little techniques you need to do that you'll find out will come handy at the end of the day. It's the difference between a good system and a lousy system and a system which doesn't work. So remember, just when you, for example, you made your coil, at the end of the line, both ends, all you need before you put in a nano coating, just twist the wires back internally to themselves. Because remember one thing, with nanomaterials, we cannot weld them, we cannot solder them, we cannot um, do anything with them. The only way you can connect nanomaterials to each other that the energy field transfers is by twisting them around each other. No one up to now has managed to solder a real nano-coated wire. Understand the reason. The reason is, if you remember, if my thingy works, I need my hand. Oh, ah, that's why the problem is. Now I found out this little chap has two purposes. One for the finger, one for the pen. So I need to get the hand on. Slowly. We should have had this two weeks sitting there. Yeah, they are learning. Yeah, I learned about the earthly thing and I have to teach you about the space thing. I'm going backwards. So you'll see when you go like this, that was your nanomaterial, the copper wire, this wire. And then you made the nanomaterials with it. When you have another nanomaterial, which let's say, error data bias connection failed. What do I do? That's your tie again. <laughs> That's what? My tie. That's your tie. <laughs> okay. I'll come next time with birthday suit. I think it'll be easier. There'll be no ties. But this time I'll watch when I come. Very, very sensitive. So now if this is the other wire and you have the nano coating of this is the other wire. When you come to put the two wires together, these are nanomaterials. There is a magnetic gap in between. Nanomaterials, true nanomaterials, can never be soldered because there is a magnetic field in between. They slide over each other. So for that reason, in all your works, when you deal with nanomaterial and in these windings, in these uh, systems, you can only turn the wire next to each other, that the plasma moves over the surface of each other. You cannot, like the traditionally system, have junctions where you connect nanomaterials together, your wires together, and you screw them. The minute you use the screws, you cut through the nano layer, then you enter a matter state, then you have complications. You cannot solve them, and they never. Yes, but it's no good. If you solder them beforehand, it's no good because the junctions dictates the flow as much as you need. That way you enforce it as good as being the same wire. Yeah, because you understand in the teachings of the plasma that Plasmas are independent entities. You cannot lock them together. So now you see why you need it. When you connect these, you bend them at the end so the fields stay inside. And then you will see everything inside the loop it stays with the loop. And it's a difference between a good system and a bad system. Secondly, Remember one initial and important thing. If, <coughs> if you nano coat and you still see copper on your nano coating on your wire, means repeat, please. Means you're gonna nano coat for a second time or a third time. Don't be afraid of uh, 
nano coating. You can never damage nano coating. I tell you something very interesting. In the process of making these systems, you keep some of the caustic which you made at the bottom in a separate jar because you're going to need the caustic. The reason, remind me, I'll explain to you why, but I'll tell you in a way in advance that you remember if I forget, then I'll explain it in more detail. Once you have made a nano layer, which now it has a connection with the matter state here, this state of mm, connection will never be forgotten because you haven't separated the atomic structure totally. You still have atomic structure connection. So when you lose the nano material or gets blown up to the heart or heat, if that goes in a short time, you'll find out the nanomaterial will start reproducing itself. It's like your skin, it grows up from the matter upwards. So you keep some of the caustic because if you remember, it was a caustic which at the right temperature started the connection, this location. Now you can keep a caustic because if it gets warmed up a little bit and it blows up, that heat helps the caustic with inside to recoat itself. So, you know, they say when you make a soup, you keep something base for the next soup. Keep some of the caustic you need it for your base in the future when you're putting your system together. Just before the last, you close your system, when we come to it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, you need this caustic just to get a brush and brush anywhere you've seen your scratch while you're assembling or whatever. You do, you do the repair and it stays. You need it. So when you finish with the caustic, don't throw all of it away because it'll come handy for you to do it. So we'll leave you with this for today. How the first step has started. If you can put this together by tomorrow, I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. They've been doing it. If not, you will finish it by end of next week or the week after. And when you made the system and it was good, make a donation to Cash Foundation for the system you receive that we can make system for the ones who cannot make it themselves. So we don't ask you to pay us it will be nice to be able to give to the others who don't have and cannot do. I have to announce something very special, which is important to the foundation. We have opened our own research center here. If you're scientists who are in development would like to develop new technologies, Cash Foundation brings you in to work with us here in the foundation center. We are looking to increase the numbers to two to 3,000 engineers around the world and at the same time we work collectively with you and the governments to change the course in a very rapid way so if you are an engineer or you like to develop the space side of the technology the energy side the medicine the health section we'll support you we give you the base here in italy at the cash foundation center and in turn Whatever developed, as we seem like today, it will be shared by public worldwide at the same time, simultaneously. This technology is the future of mankind into a space. As I said before, what you see is a byproduct of the space technology in plasma. This afternoon, in the part of the teaching of the plasma, we teach only about the plasma, that you understand more what is to come and to understand more what plasma is. Tomorrow morning, we spend another hour or two to go to the next step after you nano-coated it. We go around the world 
if you want to show what you made, the coils, the bay you have made, it has to be a copy or near enough to what we show. We don't want to see your artwork because the artworks don't count. What it counts is by Friday, we have working systems that people can test. If you already made some coils the same, you want to show us, we come to your lab, we come to your houses, we come to wherever you want to take us to show us what you've done. And then tomorrow we go to the next step. And then on Wednesday, we go to the next step because there is a buffer system you need to produce for it. And then on Thursday, we assemble the plates. And then on Friday and Thursday, we test it. And then we all can measure and we go live to your houses. You want to go on a Zoom or whatever live stream and show what you achieve, what you receive, what you have produced. That by the end of this week, at least a number of people around the world will have a free energy unit, which will be free to them in two, three weeks totally. But then on Friday afternoon, when we are live on satellite system, the camera crew are here already. Then we show you how you can increase your power to around maybe 10 or 20 kilowatt. And then in a close disclosure with the government, we release one megawatt systems to the government because normal people don't need one megawatt. Governments do. And we release a one megawatt technology to national governments in due course when they ask to know how to do it. Because one megawatt system is slightly different than 10 kilowatt system. It can be done very rapidly. Total cost for a government less than a thousand dollars. One megawatt power station can be built for less than a thousand dollars. We show it to you, that's a blueprint which I will release only to governments at that level. And then it will change the course because they can take the DC and even put an inverter on it. They have the inverters to AC if they want to use it. But they can still use a powerful generation power with one more megawatt. And, but that is only to the governments. We will not release that to public, it's impossible. Your maximum you need is around about 10 kilowatt. And if you have already placed an order for the new systems, we open the channel for what we call the support system. For that, you only pay to raise it to 10 kilowatt, you only pay another 250 euro. And you, we put it on the website from tomorrow, what is called increasing the power to 10 kilowatt. You need it to do it. It's a support system to allow you to reach 10 kilowatt use. But we announced this in due course for it to be done. We have to open the website for it. Secondly, we need, Cash Foundation needs your support heavily because we just realized on Thursday that people in Belgium, we know who they are. They have written to the World Banks that Cash Foundation is money laundering because of what you pay us to produce the system, to block the system that you cannot receive your system to discredit us. You know, they put the name of the Cash Foundation to the World Bank and the national securities that we are money laundering. These are the drug traffickers who managed to send to the bank services because they are one laundering money that we launder the money, they disguise their process, they knew what they are doing with the Cash Foundation. So we have received information from our bankers that only from Belgium and Germany, these are the same people who set up all these fraudulent websites. They have informed the World Bank that your money is money laundering. So we are stealing your money and taking it to laundry to give to the poor. So you have to be aware how these, again from Belgium, sitting in Antwerp, and you know who they are, we don't mention names, these people now have started forcing the banks in Europe to close our accounts that your money is a drug money. So it's your responsibility to reform the World Bank 
your money is clean money unless you are buying units from us to launder your money which is not ours because all the money which has come to us is clean is from your accounts we are aware of one possible drug money which has come to the cash foundation which we immediately inform the police authorities in uh, Italy and we spoke directly with the Chinese government in respect that there is a possibility we received some money has been banked into our account from drug trafficking of one person who was close to the Keshe Foundation operating out of China. And we have documented it, we registered it to be clean. So if you see a problem uh, trying to tell you, this again comes from the same person who set up so many fake, uh, what do you call it, websites and taking over the Keshe Foundation websites that they are forcing the banks in Europe to say your money is drug money and we are cleaning it out. Please run to the banks that your money is not the drug money, it's only thieves indicating the others, not for them to operation to be seen. So we inform you to understand what is going on, that the, the terrorists of Belgium are still at work. Any other question? One question in the house here. Hello. Hello, hello. Yes. Yeah. You. Uh, my question is about, um, I understand that we can't hear the microphone. Let me see how bad it is in Isa. Hello, can you hear me? No, you can, can you use my microphone. My, my question was about uh, the winding. And um, I understand that the quality of the copper, the size of the copper, and the turns counts. So what about the diameters of the two coils? Uh, what we have done, we use our own measurements. We use our own uh, sizing. And what we see is if you take the big coil, the outer coil, is about one point, uh, just about 12 millimeter. And the inner core is about just under 5.6 millimeter. Because it has to slide in. It has to slide in and you need a certain gap, but you'll find out with a nanomaterial, once you coat it on its own, it will not work because tomorrow we explain the next step why and how. So you need to uh, produce and understand. It's like, this is the first winding, the inner, and that's the inside of the outer, if you want to look at it. You need the gap between the two when you slide them in. And it's about the right size. You need enough turn to be able to create continuity of the flow of a plasma. That's why we use a spiral. Uh, Mr. Cash, I think um, Richard is trying to show something there. Richard, do you have your camera on for a reason? Did you want to talk? Hello? Yeah, well, actually, yes. Yes. Uh, good, good morning, or oh, good afternoon, actually. Hi, Richard. Okay. I have these two cores. I have to put some volume on there. Let's the full screen. Okay. Yeah, adjusting my volume here myself. Okay, sorry. Um, you said about the coil. So I've got an outer coil. Let me see. An outer coil with a long end. The Dutch are very quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And then you got an inner coil, and you slide the two inside each other, right? Yeah. Okay. So you get two long ends, and then you feed those two ends back into the coil itself, or just one of these ends? No, no, no. Yeah, the, the long end, uh, they both have to, when you look at the starting point, both have to be anticlockwise. That's they are. My God, you're a fast touch one, Richard. Well, I already have this one finished. 
<laughs> this is what I made yesterday. <coughs> okay, you put the coil through. Now you have a long piece. The other end should be much longer. It's too short. Ah, okay, maybe in the right way. Now bend it like a coil. Bend it all together like a toroid coil. Yeah, and then the end which is long, the end, the long end, the long end, put yeah. it center of itself of the inner coil. Not the outer one. Okay, the inner corner should go through itself again. Yes. So yes. I make a full loop like this. Go yes, through. and it comes out. The, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be clockwise. It has to be clockwise. Your your long end should come up on the top of your hand, and the other one goes right through right through yeah it goes right through through in just the long one yeah till you get it out just the center one the other one you don't need for the um for the outer, magnet. Core. outer core you don't need that's what okay. the right one and then you cut you just that's all you need to do okay so i have the inner core now that comes with the long end this is the long end coming out then it feeds back in through the coil, coil through it completely, and then it gets out there. Yeah, correct. Right. You saved a lot of headache for me tomorrow. Keep this video till tomorrow. <laughs> that's, that's what you call a flying Dutchman. Uh, yeah, well, you're quick. That's what you said. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? I'll continue working. Oh, I'm advertising for the secret in the background. Oh, yeah, sorry for that. Here you go. <laughs> so now you you see that's what you're going to get. You need a coil. This is very much like a coils in Tokamak, if you look at it. Tokamak, it's a copy of a Tokamak. If you understand nuclear fusion, nuclear industry, you made yourself a double coil tokamak centrifuge system. But this time, the forces are made by the plasma itself. In fact, Russia has spent billions. You can do it for a few cents. Sorry about the Russian colleagues, but sooner or later we come to each other. So in in, um, how can we shorten this time again? Just drag the top bar to the top of the screen and it'll it'll go to full screen. I've done that. It doesn't work. Oh, database server. We need a team just to do the job which is done with the ink and the chalkboard. I'm sure that uh, the five minutes of training that you had was uh, is pretty good for so far. Ah. Okay, thank you very much. There we are. I think we don't need to do it here. We've got to do it on the screen. So what it is, it's uh, understanding how a total knowledge of man and energy has come together in such a simple system. Plasma technology, nanotechnology, understanding of the work of the decades of work in Russian Space Agency and in uh, what you call Tokamak system. But don't forget to you is little windings and little um, caustic. But to develop this technology in such a smooth way that every man on this planet can replicate it has taken 40 years. Every correction, every step, every development, this technology was ready nearly 10 years ago. But we had to wait till most probably the human race was ready, could accept it, and now you do. You To you, these are the little works. But when we come back on Friday, when you have tested your system from Thursday to Friday, you can report the changes. Then when we go through the workshop next Thursday, then you report how much more saving you see, then you understand more and more. And then when this week, by the end of the week, 
we show you how to connect this system directly to your car, then you understand how you start saving energy from the fuel. You don't save energy from the fuel. As I explained in all our teachings in past couple of weeks, it's very simple. The reality has been the people around Cash Foundation can tell you this better than I can, how I explained it. You do not save any energy. There is no 100 plus one. All it is, is that you are used to fuel, whatever you call it, petroleum, or whatever. diesel, whatever. And then nowadays you had an electric engine, you call it the hybrid. Now there is another fuel next to you, which is the plasma. This is the third grade. So when you use the plasma, you bring the energy of the plasma into your fuel tank plus your fuel. It's not that you're saving money, you're not saving energy. Now you're using energy, which you have managed to separate it from the, the structure of the copper or whatever. With uh, electric cars, you still do the same. You have not bypassed, there is no, what do you call it, free energy people who are running around. All we done now, we added a third energy as a main energy in the universe, free in the hand of the man. All the energies which we had up to now, diesel, electric, potential drops in the rivers, coal, these are all earth dependent energies. For the first time, we have access to the energy of the universe. And that's why it looks so strange to you. The universe works on plasma, and the universal structure is plasmatic. So now you understand why it looks so strange because it's just the beginning of the biggest revolution in the man industrial revolution in this planet. And don't forget, Cash Foundation Space Institute is a space program. We use this for flight without fuel. And in time, in the coming days, when we start teaching you about plasma, you haven't come here just to learn about the making of the power unit in the afternoon. We teach you about plasma tomorrow. As I said, we go back to the coil. In the afternoon, we teach you again more about the plasma. Now, you understand the plasma. The understanding of plasma is the future of mankind and the new energy resources, which no government can control. No one can sell it to you. No one can disconnect you from it. If you're in Africa, you can use the roots of plants. If you are in the North Pole, you can use even the skin of the animals you eat for the nanomaterial to produce energy. Don't forget, copper is one state of matter and the rest is the same. If you can use natural materials like the roots and the branches of the trees, they are already, because they work in the dimension of the Gans as a free plasma, they are already there. You don't need to go through the nano coating. It's just for you to understand how to utilize it. So the third world nations which don't have copper or copper wires can still produce the same kind of energy. question. I think I'm going to go back to school. My writing is very bad. Hi, Mr. Kesh. Good morning. Good news is here. Is there any question? Can you hear me? Oh, but, uh, quite loud Ludwig enough. Is back again. Good morning, Ludwig. Yes. Hey, good morning. I have... You decided to come back. You spend enough time with the strangers. Uh, I have been always here. I don't know. 
what you are talking about. Well, ask, ask your question. Um, when you make the coils, uh, if you insulate them with, let's say, sheen tubing, not Pardon? that she, Can you when repeat? You make the coils. Can you insulate them with shrink tubing, not to touch each other, or that's not what? Enough? Why do you want to insulate them? Nanomaterials are the best insulators man ever known. Nanomaterials are the best. We don't even know when we tested the, the nanomaterials in Ghent University and when it was done by the uh, Belgium Nuclear Center, it's better insulator than diamond, 20, 20 megawatt ohm. You can't find even that in diamond. Why do you need to insulate it? Don't forget, you rely on the interaction of magnetic fields. And up to now, human race has not found any material which can insulate magnetic gravitational fields. Because the fields flow between the nanomaterials. is not a current isolation that it can insulate it. Pardon? You can't have a spark, it's a DC. If you, if you overload your systems, what you're gonna create is the short circuit in the matter side. You will have a short circuit here in the copper wires, but you find out your nanomaterials will start growing after a few hours and carry on. There is no possibility of the short circuit. The only short circuit comes when, as I said, when your nanomaterials here, for example, come in touch with the wires. The wires which you wind around it from your, to supply to your main, or on the other end when you connect it, when it goes to your load. Yes. Yeah. I'll give you my microphone. Something is wrong with this. How important is it to have the spacing between the, each wind? There is, no, there is, the, the spacing be, be, between the windings is not so crucial. But what is important, is that there is enough gap between the windings that it gets, the, the wire gets fully nanocoated. If it's attached to each other, if you do firing, then you get a homogeneous uh, coating. But with the caustic, if the interface doesn't get fully nanocoated, then you have a problem. There is a process which we developed for the, sorry, <laughs> for our system. Now we're testing is a combination of three or four different nano coating at the same time. That's what we do now in the factory. Everything is nano coated in three or four different ways to guarantee maximum coating. We open it slightly to be able to guarantee the spacing. You don't need to open it. It has to be compact that through the old forces of both magnetical and gravitational field force each other. You don't understand when we come by Thursday, Friday, why? Some people are asking about the uh, wire size and what would be the disadvantages of a bigger or smaller wire diameter? What? The size, can, you just get a bigger system for no use. Can they use a bigger or smaller size diameter wire or does it have to be the 14 no gauge? The, you see, the problem is, we explained to you, these are the part, all these uh, teachings today has to go on the MAGRAF teaching that people listen and understand. When you go on a thinner wire, 
all your system at the present time is matter state resistant. You only create heat when you have interaction in the matter side. So when you have a thinner wire, you, put, don't, you, you can never produce enough energy to put pressure on the nanolayers, impossibilities. The pressure comes in the matter side, the copper itself. In the future systems, we extract the copper, which means the system will be totally matterless state. But at the moment, because of what we're developing, carry on with the copper uh, signature inside. So what happens in the future, only a few, few months from now, what we do, we make the coil and then we extract the copper. There is a technology you can extract the copper. You have the coil. So there is no possibility of matter state burning out. I have explained this before in the teaching, but a lot of you never understood. So what we do, if you look at this as the copper and this as a nano coating on it, we extract the copper out. Only left is a nanotube in between. So you don't have AC phase. But at the moment, all your system works on AC. We need to keep the copper inside. Our problem is not developing technology for now, is accommodating an entry maybe two to three years when a lot of people use all the systems, all the grid gets done or coated, all your system in the house gets done or coated. And more or less what you can do, in 12 months time, you can kick this in the bin. You don't need them. Because once you nanocode and set the system off, you can just throw them in the bin, just put them somewhere aside. Because the system, your wiring in the house, we show you how, becomes a power supply for you at home. We have already seen this. So when you take your winding, when you have all this, there is something, for example, we know for a fact, if you put a charger, a heavy charger, like a battery charger for a drill, at the end of this, you burn your battery charger. Do not use chargers on the end of these systems, especially when you set them initially. After a few weeks, you can try. But because you have an interface, you burn the system. Am I correct, Amr? So do not use systems which has got a charger on it on these systems till you nanocode your material very slowly. You nanocode everything in your house. I have a news for you. I was explaining this a couple of days ago. When it comes to your car unit, you nanocode your car, you will see the rusting will disappear because the car gets nanocode. Is, is it happening to your car? Near enough, started, no more rusting. So now you understand how you can protect your car from rust. So uh, these things, all we all learn together. The, one of the things I ask you, or people who want to stop you having the freedom of life with energy and food, they will tell you, is become like us, and share your findings with the Cash Foundation worldwide on the net. Whatever you learn, share with us and which the way we shared with you. I could have banked this for billions and have holidays in the best places in the universe for good. I've given it to you free, but use this freedom to create what we're planning to do for world peace. Because when we all have all the energy, everything freely together, there is no need to war. There is no need for wars. And then as I explained in the teachings recently, if we all can make so many of these units in our spare time and just throw them in the sea, we feed the fishes of free energy. They don't need to eat each other. You do the same with the plants. We don't experiment in our house. We have put a single copper plate, not bigger than this, it's about this size. 
nano-coated like this, we put it in a, in a plastic bag hanging in the swimming pool. We have not seen a single algae in the pool. It's totally clean. The water in it is a sparkling clean. Where, when we moved in, it was disaster. And nearly, you know, a lot of you are fell in the pool trying to clean this stupid thing. Now, this thing, make sure I never go inside. Yeah, we hardly ever use claws. It's just a small piece, this size, has a stop creation of algae altogether with what about 50, 60,000 liter of water plus. So in time, we teach you more what to do. You can disinfect waters by just dropping the material inside and let it be. In the coming days, once we, the pressure for us, excuse me. I've got a very bad cold. The pressure on us was to stop, at least to start the production of the power unit. Now that we have started it and the power units are in the market, is the release of the units for growth of the ligaments and fingers and toes, which within the next 30 days will be released to the hospitals, at least in Italy and around Europe, where doctors can use the system to place in front of the toe at the point of amputation that can guarantee the growth of the organs, or at least the fingers and toes. These are bodies to come. And we'll see, we'll do more of these blue print weeks in the coming weeks together. We teach the humanity. These tapes are going to stay on the websites around the world for months and months to come. We've seen the third Amasorial meeting tape has been watched by hundreds of thousands of people around the world in the past 10 days. Now, with this technology, with this teaching, a lot of people who wanted to start factories, now they start planning to do, to build factory. And we encourage you, we cannot build, even contemplating to make 1 million units a month, it's impossible. It is it's becoming so difficult that we have to go to 3 million, huge investment. But that's only for Italy. The rest of the world, we need over 1 million factories around the world to start producing. All of you who are here to watch, you can produce a handful. We need collectively as a human race to start freeing each other from the shackles of energy, not to go against our governments, but to work with our governments to make sure we are okay, that our governments with us being okay, don't need to waste money. Because when you can feed yourself, when you can look after yourself in a freedom of the correct conduct of using energy, your government doesn't need to invest. You, can I help you? Giovanni Lapadula. Yes, you got a consignment? John, it's okay, it's good. Amazing, Italians are delivering something. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. <coughs> We've been waiting for this frame for two weeks, all right. So, you have to realize It's Italy. When you see it arrive, you say, thanks God, doesn't matter what's in it, but at least it arrived. <laughs> so what you will see is a change. This uh, today, we ship the first batch of the goods and in the ah, no. 
It doesn't want to work. You lot don't Let's try it again, to... Mr. Kester. That top button needs to be pressed again. Uh, okay. That finger needs to be up there. You need to see that finger up in the top corner there. Oh, uh, the finger on the top comes and goes. Okay, it's back again. This week, we deliver 1,000 units. Next week, we deliver 10,000 units. We build up to 1 million a month in October, in November, December. But this is not enough. We need at least, at least minimum. units to be built. Don't forget, it's very unfortunate, and the unfortunate thing is, it is, as I said, seven billion of human race, and we have another six minimum units to be made. Then you see 42 billion units we need to make. Add the car unit on top of it. Another God knows how many billion. Add the space unit technology which is coming in. None of us can support such a vast evolution in science impossibilities. We need at least 30 to 50 companies in Italy alone to be able to meet the demand of this nation. They're not going away. It's gone. So you have to realize we are inviting you, all of you, Maybe we estimated, maybe, maybe a million of you will make system at home. That's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. The woman in the house, housewife cannot do it. The youngsters have no understanding of even how to use a copper can't do it. The uh, old people who are the most desperate for the energy this winter, they can't do it. They don't have the knowledge. It doesn't matter what to do. It's the responsibility of collectively of all of us who can, who's got the manufacturing power to produce as much as we can, as fast as we can, now that the technology is free. So if you watch this program, if you watch these teachings for the next five days, plan, come to us, we can give you the blueprint of everything. The box, the wires, the wiring system, everything can be given to you to develop as fast as possible. We put our price at 800, if I can get it, 800 euro. System is gonna cost us around about 200 we presume, with everything else. Out of this, that's four units. After all the costs to go, we can put not many, more than two million, if you think of it, back in the public in the next two or three months. Because the people who buy, we have to supply, the people who are giving free has to be supplied. So we need at least a thousand factories. And we estimate each one employing between something like 3000 people just to be able to meet the demand of Italy in the next five to 10 years. It's huge. If you understand what we know is to come, the food unit is to come. The, the what do you call it? The medical unit has to be added. The units for your cars needs to be added. Even if you put those four, and there are about 20, 25 million households in Italy, 
That's a hundred million. Minimum. Hundred million. We can produce even if we do one million a month. That's ten years. Plus all the everything else which comes with the technology. There is no way. We need at least a thousand factories in Italy within the next twelve months. And then go scale it up to China and India and the rest of it. The employment opportunity is huge. Is as one of the scientists said, we have started a path. We don't even know if all the computer system has to be changed too, because now we've been dreaming of the superconductors. Now we have the superconductors. These materials, superconductors, and the GANs, which you collect, you will see, these create a total new opportunity in three-dimensional computers without wiring. Today, we open the book, but it's the beginning of a revolution, because now people understand how simple it is, and it's not in the hand of few people. It's you who's doing it. So. You can imagine in the next four or five years, you will see GANs systems for the computers, which works as fast as the speed of your brain. In the next couple of weeks, I teach you a technology which is for what they call mind control. This technology is very easy. And what you can do, you can think of the removal. You can think of the lift, and the system will lift. We are teaching in the space side of the technology to our students around the world how to create plasma without any physical material. In our present labs, in our present teaching, we don't have any lab because this afternoon we stop for about an hour for lunch. Then we start not talking about the system as it is, blueprint, but if you come to understand the beauty of this, you have to understand what it's going to create, what it's going to bring, and how it's used and created. So next four or five days, we have opened the door of the plasma technology worldwide. You learn about nanomaterial. You learn about how to make the power unit. And in the afternoon, we only speak about plasma because plasma has to become, and literally has become, if you're here, the only word, the only word you need to know about work of the universe because if you know how to utilize the plasma, you can create food, any material anywhere in the world, and any medicine you wish anywhere. Last night, Carol and I were sitting and we received a, a Skype call. I'm not going to mention his name, he's on the line. He said he was jumping up and down, trying because of his condition, and in mixing everything, trying to find a gas for his problem, he managed to create gold. We know who we're talking about, huh? Carolyn is just bringing it to you in your ear. <laughs> because <coughs> in you can mix, you create the right condition. Let me explain to you, and then we go for lunch. This is that's what I call. Uh, food for your thoughts till this afternoon because it gives you a lot if this thing wants to work i want i want to raise it put back on the top yeah but i want a rubber pardon oh good so remember one thing and this is very simple. The sun, I've got my finger back, I've got my pen back. The sun radiates its light across the solar system. It's like love of God, it has no condition. If the gravitational magnetic field interaction with the Earth happens at this position, leads to create of nitrogen at this point. 
If it goes further, the same field, when it goes weaker because of the distance of interaction, it creates helium. It's the same ray. It depends where at what strength of another plasma you interact with it. If you understand this, and you can create a plasma here, which is a stronger, what would you like this be? Gold or plutonium? Now, production of material is in the hand of the man, not accident of the nature. So now you decide. And this is what we're going to speak about. And this is what we've been teaching this term in Cash Foundation for Space Technology. You decide you want to be on Earth, or you want to be there, or you like to rob all the banks of the gold, but give it to them freely because you can produce as much as you like. A sick man nearly dying in the way two weeks ago has created it free in the hotel room. We didn't say any name. A few people know who he is. <laughs> So thank you very much. It's 1.30 our time here. In one hour, we come back. And we only teach plasma. If you're not interested to be educated and you're just for finding a way to build a new system, we are back here tomorrow morning for the next step of teaching of how to go to the next step. Because you need to make the coils. You need to nanocoat them, get them out by tomorrow. That tomorrow is the next step of connection. The Thursday to Wednesday, we try to do the process of security and safety with the system. And on Thursday, we assemble it. And then on Friday, we all test around the world at the same time. And I feel sorry for those who have to wait till we get them a system because there is a limit. We need a lot of you, a lot of you, thousands of you around the world to help to produce it. Um, Mr. Cash, there's, uh, there's quite a few questions about whether there, there will be an exact uh, blueprint, an actual instruction blueprint uh, thing available. Is that something that'll, that's uh, available now or maybe at the end of the week, we perhaps? Only we only release it after Friday. Okay. No, no. If people don't understand, then we have the same problem. Because this teaching of these parts has to go into the section of the product, the section where people can come for answer and questions. This should not go out part of the teaching, should be connected to the manufacturing side or what you call the customer's question and answers that they can produce it. I know there are a lot of people who love to make these units to make themselves millionaires, but when you become millionaires, find out one thing, you're worth nothing on this planet because we are leaving soon. You cannot sell greenback to no one in the space. Martians don't know what dollar is. And you cannot sell what I call gold to the planet Zeus because they have better materials than gold. Thank you very much indeed for your time. We'll be back in 60 minutes to understand more about the plasma. Thank you, Mr. Thank Cash. You. Thank you very much. And that'll be open public teaching as well, is that correct? Yes, all the teachings this week are open to public because public have to understand what plasma is. What they know, they're not afraid of, and they cannot be, be frightened of by those who want to abuse them. Thank you very much. Okay, that's the end of the Monday, October 26th morning teaching um, for the, uh, um, well, today's teaching. Thank you, everybody, for attending. Okay, I'm going to end the Zoom meeting and uh, we'll see everybody back in the afternoon. So we'll take about an hour. Um, so we should see you on in about an hour. Thank you.